Okay, so today I wanted to discuss who could and unfortunately who could not return from the Dark Aether in the future. Now, before I get started, I do just want to preface this by saying I cannot cover everyone. For the sake of my own sanity and for the sake of this video not being 35 hours long, I cannot cover everyone. There are so many characters in Call of Duty Zombies, it's it's uh, unfathomable. And for those of you who are jumping into Call of Duty Zombies with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and aren't familiar with the Ether storyline of World at War to Black Ops 4, we had a lot of fantastic characters, some loved by the community, some loathed by the community, and some most of the community can't remember or don't even know existed. Now, as I mentioned, I won't be able to cover every single character from every single little corner of the Call of Duty Zombies storyline, so unfortunately don't expect to see characters like Arthur or Leroy from Buried, the Wolf King from Dreisendrak or Jebediah Brown. If you know who Jebediah Brown is, leave a comment down below and I will be surprised. Anyway, while it is entirely possible for Treyarch to bring any of those characters back and others that I won't mention in this video, it is extremely unlikely. I also want to mention that I won't be covering any new characters who we know are in the Dark Aether but haven't met yet, such as Pyoita or anyone else we hear from in the intel. Now, without further ado, let's progress and get the bad news out of the way first. Who cannot come back from the Dark Aether? Actually, I say bad news, it's not all bad news, because there is always the possibility that Samantha Maxis having gone into the Dark Aether, may now possess the ability to resurrect people, and therefore some of the characters on this list who I say won't be able to return because they are dead, that might not be an issue anymore. If you want to know more of the abilities that I think Samantha Maxis may now possess, seeing as she's been to the Dark Aether in Firebase Z, check out the little eye card in the top right hand side of the screen. Right, so let's jump straight into some of the characters that I don't believe are going to be returning. I'm going to go through them quite quickly because I don't want this video to be five hours long, believe me. It wouldn't be hard. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Firstly, we likely won't see the return of Primus or Ultimus as they died at the end of Tag Der Toten and Ultimus Richtofen died way back in Blood of the Dead. We also won't see the return of Great War Richtofen as he died at the end of Tag Der Toten 2. We likely won't see the return of Ludwig Maxis as he died at the end of Alpha Omega. We also likely won't see the return of John Banana, Smokey or Paxton Ridge. These are the characters who accompanied Tank Dempsey way back in Verrucht. My personal favourite zombie map if you talk bad about Verrucked I will in fact fight you. It's unlikely that we're going to see the return of young Takio and young Dempsey as well as the Shadow Man as all of these souls were in the summoning key when it was destroyed. Just to be 100% clear these souls were and were the only souls besides the rituals from Shadows of Evil but we can kind of put that to a side because that gets really convoluted. But those souls were the only main souls that were in fact inside the summoning key as Gorod Krovi never happened and therefore Nikolai's soul was never collected as well as Dempsey, Takeo and the Shadow Man's soul never being sent to the house. I know that final little point there with the three characters and all the souls and all the summoning key and all that crazy Black Ops 3 stuff is very confusing and... If you would like me to jump into that and explain it in a little bit more depth in a future video, please don't hesitate to let me know that's something you're interested in in the comment section down below. And with that, I believe we've covered absolutely everyone who categorically cannot return from the Dark Aether. Unless, of course, Samantha does some weird Dark Aether stuff and then Treyarch make the entire first half of this video redundant. Don't do that to me, Craig. Don't do that to me. Now for the slightly less depressing part of the video, the characters who could 100% return from the Dark Aether. First of all, of course, we could very easily see the return of the Victus crew as we distinctly saw them banished to the Dark Aether at the end of Tag Der Toten, and I personally don't think Treyarch would have shown us that if they weren't going to be coming back at some point. So the Victus crew... I'm pretty sure we're going to see them again. Whilst we're on the subject of Tag Der Toten, we also saw the return of Pablo Marinus, who is a very important character of the story, but almost no one knows about him. And so while Pablo's significance really does come from the Great War and everything that the original Aether storyline was kind of about and isn't really so focal in the Dark Aether storyline, I do have a sneaking suspicion that we might see our boy Pablo again. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 also had some other familiar faces which we haven't seen or heard from in a while, such as Peter McCain and his handler, Cornelius Purnell, who in the end became the Avogadro. So I don't really know how the Avogadro comes back. I don't know if he would come back as the Avogadro or Cornelius Purnell, but either way, 
I reckon we might see a return from Peter and his handler at some point in the future, and while they're not 100% confirmed to be coming back, I'm not trying to say that at all, I reckon they are cards that are on the table. And while we're on the subject of Black Ops 4, I'm going to go ahead and make a horrible point that is probably going to cause this video to be mass disliked, but quite frankly, it's a possibility. So take it as covering all my options. Please don't hate me, but I feel that this needs to be said. With the established multiverse in the Call of Duty Zombies canon now, I know we saw Nikolai, air quotes here, destroy the multiverse. At the end of Tag Der Toten, we also thought that would be the end of the Dark Aether, but obviously not. And I have a feeling that the multiverse is going to be a harder thing to get rid of than the Dark Aether. So if the Dark Aethers come back, the multiverse has a very good chance of still being a thing present in Call of Duty Zombies. And while we have a multiverse present in the Zombies canon, it is entirely possible yet extremely unlikely, I just want to say I do not think this would happen, but I'm covering my arse just in case it does, Treyarch could turn around and say that one of the universes within the multiverse which was banished into the Dark Aether was the universe in which the Chaos story took place. Everyone is going to hate me for saying that. And with that mentality, we could very easily see the return of Bruno, Diego, Scarlett, and Alistair Rhodes, and anyone else who was associated with that little hiccup in time we call the Chaos Story. While unlikely, it actually would be really nice to get a tiny little ending to the Chaos Story, because personally, I actually really liked where it was going, but I don't think that they will come back. It's just an option. Craig, if, you, if, if for some reason you happen to hear this, stop. Don't do it, Craig. Don't do it. Don't do it, Craig. S stop that immediately! Nah! Right, swiftly moving on, we could also see the return of George Romero, Danny Trejo, Sarah Michelle Geller, Robert England, Michael Rooker, Nero Blackstone, Jessica Rose, Jack Vincent, and Floyd Campbell. As it's almost certain that both these characters from Call of the Dead and Shadows of Evil respectively have also been banished to the Dark Aether. As well as those characters, while unlikely, we could also see the return of the Presidents from Five. And that really does it for all of the characters that I believe we could see return, at least in regards to the main story. I did happen to mention at the beginning of the video that I won't be able to cover everyone, and it's entirely possible that I've missed some people. If you do feel that I've missed anyone, let me know in the comment section down below. But now, I'm going to throw a little curveball in there. I'm going to state some characters, four specific characters, who I don't know if we could see the return of them or not. Because we don't actually know the status of these characters after their cycle was broken. And when I speak of cycles being broken in regards to Call of Duty Zombies, who else could I be talking about other than Billy Hansom, Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Al Arlington? The four pinnacle and beloved characters from Mob of the Dead. We know almost nothing about the status of these characters other than the fact that they are likely dead because we do see their souls in Blood of the Dead. Although at the end of Blood of the Dead, all of the souls from all of the zombies in that map are set free. And we know that these characters are living somewhere in the form of souls. And who knows what that means in regards to the characters and in regards to any potential future returns they may make. While I do believe Trauk are going to leave those characters alone, and probably going to leave alone most of the characters mentioned, these are really all of the characters that could come back in the future of the Call of Duty Zombies storyline. Overall, I really want to see all of these characters meet. I think it would be incredible. I mean, just think of all the small interactions all these characters could have together. Imagine Jackie Vincent, a 1940s corrupt police officer, meeting Sal DeLuca, a 1920s mobster. Or if Peter McCain was finally reunited with Dempsey, John Banana, Smokey, and Paxton Ridge, finally completing their mission, which they set out to do way back in Verruckt. Anyway, in my next story video, I'll be taking a deeper dive into what I briefly touched on today regarding how the multiverse could affect the future of Call of Duty Zombies and the potential new characters we could see in the future. So if that does sound even remotely interesting to you, the subscribe button is always there. So with that all said, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like on the video. If you disliked the video, drop a dislike on the video. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video. Just need to slide in, you little wicked queen. You can't take another spin. They want to get it, trying to upset it. Snakes in boots on a Saturday night. Can't help. Always trying to make it.
get a half 